出国那个什么就有农村希望。ka United Democratic Party hena ka singi ka hanriu tari urisau kala panbanaya ka kerteng jo Asha Hel Dishira kumu kertong jo ka seng na Raja Bala constituency ya ka kerteng jo Ushira la panbana da u president barang ba ka seng u ba met ba lengdo na kal yang u ba met ba u la panbao ba ka seng ka donya ka jengkermen ba u kertong jo ki un jab ha ka ne ka election siteng samoi Cucu ulah orang ru, bakum baka pau mentah kipat bak ki ay kajeng kersian bapura ya usira, bat ngidan kajeng kermen bangin yo ya usok kajeng jam. Hakawai pat kaliang, u presiden rang bak ke UDP, ulah penemena, baka seng kandung penjeng kertong hamau rung keneng, namar kinong ya lam jong keseng, nakane ke konstituensi, kipen pau baki kuak ban kersian ya ubak penyaj sings iem, hakane ke election siteng samoy. Ya kane kerai lah pensengau da kinong ya lam jong keseng, nakane ke konstituensi. We are pleased to uh, inform you that uh, we ha had decided uh, with regards to the by-elections in all the three constituencies. Uh, last week we had already announced the name of uh, uh, Sir Eugene Lindor Moklang as our official candidate from the Moklang uh, constituency. The second one. Uh, is uh, for the Rajabala, 47 Rajabala Consulency, where we had also uh, decided and would like to announce today that uh, our official candidate from the 47 Rajabala Consulency is Sri Ashehel Dalbot Shira. He is a sitting MDC from the uh, Batabari MDC constituency. He is contesting from our party. And uh, since uh, it's too short of a time to have him here with us, uh, he came late last night at, uh, we had to complete all the formalities with regards to all the official matters, procedures which is to be followed, uh, matters related to the uh, party affairs. So, we had uh, decided yesterday for his candidature for this Rajabal Constituency. Uh, Mr. Ashel Dalbot uh, Shira also would like to announce, and as you are all aware, that he's the, he was the uh, MLA uh, from the Rajabala Constituency only. Oh. 2013. From 2013 to 2018 as the member of the Legislative Assembly. So that's all for Rajabala and uh, the Mau uh, Club. <coughs> now coming to the uh, Maurinkling Constituency, the circle leaders have uh, suggested that this time they will not feel any candidate and uh, they would like to extend their support as a party to Sri Pinyat Sim, who is the sitting MDC and the candidate from the NPP ticket. So, as the party at the state level, we have endorsed the decisions taken by the circle level. And uh, we'll also uh, like to announce that uh, we will not be putting any official candidate from the party in the Mount Guinea constituency. So therefore, uh, the support will be extended to Sri Pinyai Sim. You, before you ask any question why we are supporting about Pinyai, I would like to inform you that since the local leaders have decided because of different uh, issues and uh, different development activities within the constituency, uh, therefore we also feel that it will be appropriate for us to extend 
the support to him and not to feel any candidate. Uh, in the last uh, recent uh, MDC election, we have made our inroads as far as government sector is concerned. Uh, in fact, we, were, we did not expect that the kind of vote banks that we got in the last MDC election was very, very encouraging for us that Garo Hills also is one area where we can uh, take part in the whatever coming elections. So this is one of the elections that we felt that uh, by getting the right candidate for the right constituency, we will definitely take a call. So, with regards to the Rajabala constituency, this time uh, we had uh, done proper analysis as far as the Rajabala constituency mm -hmm. and we felt that our official candidate, Ashehel Dishira, will definitely win this election. This is what the, um, the, the feedbacks and the inputs that we got from the constituency. We would like to see that their candidate wins the election, definitely. <coughs> but uh, we also would like to uh, assure that uh, we will uh, definitely work very hard for our candidate, Bai Eugene, for the Mokong Consulency, and ensure that he stayed through. So this is a sympathy factor will help him to... <coughs> I already, already responded to one of your colleagues um, who asked me about sympathy both. It is a combination of both the candidate and the sympathy board. Definitely. We decided to accept his candidature for Mokhla Constituency based on the, some parameters which we have to measure as far as uh, our candidate. As I have said, it's not just only sympathy, but it is also from the candidate side. So we have a very strong candidate. And he's a very young, very dynamic, very sporty, you know, person. So I don't see any doubts why we cannot sit through that. And people of the, it is the people of that uh, constituency only who, you know, had gone and uh, met him and uh, convinced him that he should contest this election. It's not just from the family side. But well, at the end of the day, it is the consent from all sides. So they have taken the decisions. And we also felt that, that he is the right candidate for us. As far as Mokran is constituency, he is the right candidate. Definitely they will, uh, they will say that. What do you expect from Congress to say? They will definitely say that lack of governance and a lot of things. So what Congress has done in the so many years, that also we also have the right to say on that. So we will come out with whatever in the right platform. What was the deciding factor to choose uh, Ashahel? Is it because he deserted, he was in the list of Congress and then so what, what is it? Is it winnability factor or what? It is not about it. And he has proved himself also. As far as the grassroots uh, feedbacks that we have received, his uh, job doing there as far as, uh, I mean, uh, with regards to 2013-2000 was tremendous. But just because of some, uh, for what reasons, that like he could not succeed. But he has, he was doing a very, very fantastic job. Another related question. Uh, CM yesterday said that uh, there is maybe a political angle to the IED. Uh... These matters are concerned. I think the police department is looking into it and they are keeping a track on whatever as far as the media reports is concerned, the department feedbacks and all is concerned. So they are working on it. The HNLC have issued uh, a threat to shoot ministers of the MDA government. It's up to the government to take note of those. I have no comment on the other parties' affairs. I mean, what they feel is best for them. So, but another day they have to be on the field for the election. They have to fight election. People will decide. People know much, much better than uh, I know. I think, as far as new parties, I think as of now. Uh, let me share with you, I am not saying that uh, UDP only is the best, but as far as the feedbacks and uh, views and opinions of the people of the state, they feel that now only UDP, which is the only regional party which is there for a long, long time, we do have HSPDP also, but looking uh, into you know all angles, I think UDP is 
the party now that people are looking at. So we are, uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, we are pitching on that and see that how we can uh, take, uh, you know, the way forward uh, as far as the party. We are part of the, uh, I mean, UDP is part of the government, no doubt about it. That we will not deny that. But I think uh, when it comes to elections, we will definitely voice our concern also in whatever areas that we feel like. Why we need UDP at that time. So more you will get it on the field during our campaign that we will clarify to the people. Because if I clarify everything here from the party side, I think uh, then we have nothing to say uh, you know, to the people. At the, they have their uh, own the way of functioning. We have our own way of functioning. Yeah, so that's what but end of the day, we have seen that we could not. We could not. There are different reasons for that. So if you talk about reasons, there are yes. hundreds of reasons for that. So we felt that now, you know, meeting with our regional friends, keep on interacting with them, sharing with them, talking to them. I think maybe I don't lose hope on that as a president. And as a party also, we don't lose hope on that. We will continue that attempt to ensure that how we as regional parties come together as well.